High School Football Show with your hosts, Robertson County Connection sports reporter David Wilson and Main Street Clarksville sports editor Brady McAtamney. The Robertson County High School Football Show is brought to you by Springfield Carpet One. Whether you are in need of new hardwood, luxury vinyl, tile, carpet, or laminate, Springfield Carpet One has everything you need for your next flooring project. Thomas Drugs. Since the early 1900s, Thomas Drugs has served the Robertson community for all of their prescription needs. Stop by and see their friendly staff and grab you a sundae at their ice cream parlor today. Old Hickory Credit Union. Whether you need to open a checking account or interested in taking out a loan or mortgage, Old Hickory Credit Union can help you every step of the way. Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment. Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs. Select Physical Therapy in Springfield. Select Physical Therapy provides inpatient and outpatient rehabilitation services in Robertson County. And the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Remember, fans don't let fans drive drunk. Now, here are David Wilson and Brady McAtamney. Hello again, everybody, and welcome into the Robertson County Football Show. I'm David Wilson, sports reporter for the Robertson County Connection, rejoined this week by my co-host who's joined me all year long. He's done a phenomenal job, Brady McAtamey. Brady's back off his extended leave. I know he went home for the holidays. Brady, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back, David, uh, and of course, here to talk about the biggest day in uh, East Robertson football history, perhaps, this past uh past Saturday, I believe it was, or Friday. Um, Get my days mixed up a little bit. But, uh, of course, huge day for East Robertson. Unfortunately, couldn't pull it out, though, as they lost a real tight game to Riverside, the eventual state champions, 13-7 to in the Blue Cross Bowl class, uh, class 2A state championship game. As always, this year, our East Robertson High School football segment has been brought to you by Thomas Drugs and Cross Plains since the early 1900s. Thomas Drugs has served the Robertson community for all their prescription needs. Stop by and see their friendly staff and grab you a Sunday at their ice cream parlor today. So, David, why don't you uh, take us down uh, the memory lane here on how things played out on that rainy Saturday in Chattanooga? Yeah, what a great atmosphere. Two teams heading into the Brew Claws Bowl at Finley Stadium on Saturday afternoon, a 3 p.m. Eastern time kick in Chattanooga. Both teams looking for their first state title in football history. Obviously, East Robertson has won a state title in basketball, won a state title in baseball, and they were looking for the trifecta in their three main sports this past Saturday afternoon on, a, like you said, a, a rainy Finley Stadium. It was raining cats and dogs all throughout um, championship Saturday in Chattanooga. And that was very different compared to this uh, Thursday slate. Thursday, it was sunny all day long, beautiful weather for the private school classification state championships. But, you know, East Robertson, they fell short um, this past Saturday against Riverside, a team that had played in the state championship a year prior. They lost to Tyner 26 to 24, and they completed their revenge tour this week, picking up the six point victory over the Indians in the Blue Cross Bowl, the Class 2A state championship. And for Riverside, they set the tone early on in the game. They won the toss, and they elected to take the football and go on offense, and they marched right down the field on a seven-play, 75-yard touchdown drive that ended with an 11-yard touchdown run from Desmond Thomas. And then after that, you know, both teams really stood tall in the first half of that championship game. Both defenses were able to force a turnover on downs that occurred in really um, great situations to give their offenses opportunities to cash in with some points. On East Robertson's defensive turnover on downs, they take over in Riverside territory, take over at the Panthers' 48-yard line, and they are seemingly marching into the red zone looking like they're going to get their first points of the afternoon when Isaiah Groves fumbles. That turnover is a huge turning point in that first half. Seemed like East Robertson was going to even up the score, but the Panthers defense was able to keep them off the scoreboard early in the second quarter. Eventually, Riverside is forced to punt after um, taking over that um, turnover. So the Panthers were unable to cash in that mistake. And East Robertson finally mounted their first scoring drive of the game on their last drive of the second quarter. They marched six plays and 83 yards down the field, and they cashed it in with an Isaiah Groves four-yard touchdown run. And that drive had several big plays in it that helped 
push the Indians down there for a score. Obviously, on the first play of the drive, Isaiah had a 49-yard run to really get things in high gear. And then on a critical fourth and three inside Riverside territory, Casey Young, who was perfect in the first half, he was six of six passing for 65 yards, so impressive in the first half with the freshman quarterback. He had Zach Groves on a 29-yard pass on a fourth down that really pushed them into the red zone and allowed them to score that touchdown to tie the game heading into halftime. And so when I talked to Coach Brooks after the game, you know, he said he felt really good about his team. Obviously, they didn't play well um, up to their standard in the first um, 24 minutes of play, but you have to feel really good going into the half at 7-7. East Robertson gets the football to start the second half, and they march into Riverside territory, but they're unable to cash in on a fourth down. I think it was a fourth and three. Casey Young was a wide on a pass to Elijah Groves that turned it over on downs and gave Riverside the football, and the Panthers marched on an 11-play drive on the their opening possession of the third quarter and scored the game-winning touchdown. Desmond Thomas gets a five-yard touchdown run to cap his afternoon, um, eventually winning him the Brooke Claus Bowl Class 2A MVP honors. Finished the day with 23 carries for 126 yards and two touchdowns for the Riverside Panthers. You know, and so the story in the second half, and it showed th- all throughout the year for this East Robertson team, is that penalties came back to hurt them on Saturday afternoon. You know, it really hurt them in their lone loss of the regular season to Smith County. Obviously, they had over 150 yards of penalty in that um, game against Smith County in the Friday Night Rivals game of the week um, early on in the year. But all throughout the year, they would make mistakes, but they were so talented enough that they could overcome those penalties and defeat their opponents. But unfortunately, on Saturday afternoon, the penalties did hurt them and cost them. We uh, have East Robertson down for 10 penalties on Saturday for 100 yards, and six of those penalties gifted Riverside with automatic first down. So um, East Robertson's penalties really allowed Riverside to take advantage and um, push the ball down the field because East Robertson outgained Riverside this past um, Saturday in the state championship game. East Robertson outgained them 220 yards to 210. So this was a defensive battle back and forth. Obviously, the rain had a lot to do with it. Riverside really found um, no success in the passing game. They just had one completion from their Mr. Football finalist, Stone Wallace. East Robertson had better success throwing the football. As I mentioned, Casey Young did a really good job. But um, the the penalties, um, not being able to take advantage of missed opportunities, or turnovers, rather, missed opportunities, really hurt East Robertson. In the fourth quarter, they're trailing 13-7. to Riverside missed the extra point on that second um, touchdown drive of the afternoon for the Panthers, and that really seemed like it was going to loom large in this game. You had a gut feeling up in the press box and even in the crowd that East Robertson was going to find a way to score a touchdown drive in the second half and win this game 14-13, to and they got the opportunity early in the fourth quarter. Elijah Groves f- recovers a fumble from Desmond Thomas that puts the Indians in prime scoring position. They took over at the Riverside 38-yard line with about eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, and they are seemingly going to go in to score a touchdown. They gain an early first down on the drive, and they're knocking on the red zone when they have a third and three or third and four, and they get called for a legal chop block penalty. And that really pushes them outside of scoring position, obviously forces them into a third and 18, a third and long. And Cason Young, um, two straight passes, was unable to connect. And really, that was the last drive of the game for East Robinson. So the story of the game for them was the penalties and just the missed opportunities. And you could credit the fumble in the second quarter by Isaiah Groves, but really they were able to come back and recover for that and score a touchdown drive in the second quarter to kind of mute that out. But you know, just the penalties, um, the turnovers, um, the missed opportunities was really the difference in this game, Brady. So Riverside wins this one 13-7. to They capture their first state championship in their football program's history. Obviously a disappointing end to East Robertson's season. I know they expected more. And when I talked to Chase Brooks after the game, he said, you know, it sucks because we beat ourselves. We've talked all year long about how the Indians can't beat the Indians, and that's what happened on Saturday. So – Obviously, this group, um, the future is so bright. You know, you're bringing back a lot of your key playmakers on the offensive side of the football. Defensively, there's going to be some restructuring. Obviously, you're losing um, Dallas Caffrey and Elijah Groves on the back end. Matthew Swearingen play some corner for this group. But, you know, just for them to be in that moment, you know, we talked about this, and I, I told my my folks this on the ride home from Chattanooga that, you know, 
sometimes you have to learn how to lose before you can win. You know, in Riverside, the case in point was last year. They learned how to lose in these situations. Um, they lost to Tyner on a heartbreaker, and East Robertson experienced that this past Saturday. So this will fuel them as motivation moving forward to try to get back to Chattanooga and capture that elusive first state title on their football's program history. And Chase Brooks mentioned that in post game as well. You know, he said, "I've been through this personally as a player at, at Beach. Um, I lost a state championship, and that really hurt, and that really motivated our upperclassmen to get back to that moment and say this is not going to happen." Again, so Brady, 13-7, to the final on a rainy Saturday in Chattanooga. Obviously, the weather, as I mentioned, played a factor in it. But, you know, Riverside, you know, the team that was experienced, had been there before, had a senior backfield in Desmond Thomas and Stone Wallace. They get it done over a young East Robertson team that was hungry, but will have to wait another year to capture that first state title. Absolutely. Very good summation of what went down on Saturday. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, we are going to – Wrap up our coverage of the 2A state title game. Stick around. Whether you've set personal goals or are just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power Equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate and tile, our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpet1springfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore in Soda Fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. Welcome back to the Robertson County Football Wrap-Up Show. My name is Brady McTamney. I am the sports editor with Main Street Clarksville, joined as always by my co-host, your guy, David Wilson. He is the sports reporter for the Robertson County Connection. We're wrapping up the East Robertson football season here, of course, taking a 13-7 loss in the 2A state championship game on Saturday. David is here and ready to give you guys a player of the game one final time for the season. So, David, let's hear yeah, I'm going to give Co-Player of the Week awards for this game. Obviously, East Robertson, the lone team on the schedule, playing in the Brew Cross Bowl on Saturday. I'm going to give a defensive award and an offensive award as well. So defensively, it'll go to Elijah Groves. He had four tackles on the night, one tackle for loss, and he had the big fumble recovery in the second half for East Robertson. So defensively, Elijah Groves will be our player of the game for East Robertson. And then on the offensive side of the football, we will give it to Isaiah Groves, who had 23 carries for 112 yards on Saturday in the Blue Cross Bowl and also had the touchdown run in the second quarter. So congrats to the bro Groves Bros, uh, Groves bro Brothers, rather. Um, they do, do it yet again. They've been our Player of the Week award winners many times here this year on the Robertson County 
football show. They win it again as East Robertson falls in the Blue Cross Bowl, 13 to 7 to Riverside. So, Brady, we'll take another commercial break and then we will wrap up East Robertson's football season as a whole. Obviously, a great year, as we mentioned, as they go 13 and 2 on the year. So, we will wrap up Chase Brooks' group right after this. Whether you've set personal goals or are just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power Equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate, and tile. Our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpetonespringfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore and soda fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. Welcome back to the Robertson County Football Wrap-Up Show. I'm Brady McTamney, sports editor at Main Street Clarksville, joined by David Wilson. He is the sports reporter for the Robertson County Connection. We talked about the state championship game for East Robertson. Now we're going to kind of wrap up their season as uh, football season in Tennessee is over as we have crossed over into December here. So, David, why don't we uh, just not put a nice little bow on this excellent 13-2 and season for the Indians you know, maybe give us some high points of the season, what we learned about this team as the months went by, and maybe maybe a little bit of uh, what we can expect to see from them next year. Yeah, absolutely, Brady. Uh, first of all, I want to give credit to them. Congratulations to you, East Robertson, for a fantastic season. They were looking to become just the second Robertson County football team in the county's history to win a state championship in football. Obviously, the 1993 Springfield Yellow Jackets will still be in that exclusive club. But anytime you can play football – in early December. You're doing something well about your team. And Chase Brooks loved this group. He, he raved about them, couldn't say enough things about the special young men that are part of this team. And they had a really phenomenal year. When you look at it, they win their first five games of the season in pretty convincing fashion. I wouldn't say there was a high point in there. They just were a dang good football team early on, picking up a win on the road the first week of the year against Liberty Creek, a Liberty Creek team that won two games in the playoffs and you know took on an East Nashville team that eventually made it to the state championship game in their classification. So East Robertson dominated early on. And I guess the turning point in the season was that loss to Smith County on the Friday Night Rivals game of the week early in the year. That was kind of the tipping point of where this season could go for them. It was either going to – they were going to rally together and become a team or it could maybe fall apart. But I think that loss really galvanized this group and made them hungry and made them more focused. And they ripped off um, 
several wins down the stretch, obviously not losing until they got to the title game this past week. And the turning point of the season, Brady, was when they went on the road in the playoffs to Smith County and got their revenge. And talking to Isaiah Groves last week in the media availability period for the Blue Cross Ball, he said that was the difference in the season for us. That's the moment um, in time where we felt like we really could win a state championship and that we felt like all the stars were aligning for us. So being able to go on the road to Smith County and have the performance that they did, really dominating in the first half in convincing fashion, getting a running clock in the quarterfinal round, that's really impressive on the road in the hostile environment. And then you got to think just the playoff road that this team had. Um, the loss to Smith County really set them back and gave them a murderer's row path in the playoffs. Obviously, in the second round, you go to the Chattanooga area, you face an undefeated Marion County team that was having the, one of the best seasons in their program's history. You get a 24-7 to win there. Obviously, you get your revenge in the quarterfinal round against a two-loss region champion in Smith County picking up a 49-20 to win there. Smith County had not lost to a 2A school all season long, so East Robertson handed them their first 2A loss of the year. And then in the semifinal round, you make history. You punch your ticket to your first ever Blue Cross Bowl by taking down a York Institute team on the road. That was another undefeated team, a 35-31 to win. And the story um, in that one is the score is very misleading. East Robertson was up 34-7. to in that game. And so they kind of let York Institute creep back into it, but just a dominating run throughout the year. And Isaiah Groves, he's a Mr. Football finalist. He's most likely going to be the winner of this award when this airs, but he did it a phenomenal job on the ground this year for this team. But this defense doesn't get enough credit for how, you know, st they stymied opponents time after time and made it really tough for teams to score points on them. And you could see it in the championship game on Saturday, Brady, Riverside had a really tough time passing the ball, and the yards were really tough to come by after their first scoring drive of the day. So, obviously, you're led by Dallas Caffrey in the middle, 5'9", 170 pounds, soaking wet. But the man just finds a way to make plays. He had nine tackles this past week in the 2A state championship game, so he will be missed next year. But it was just a great run all the way around for East Robertson. Obviously, it ends 13-2 and with a loss in the championship game, but this team is really looking forward to what is in store in the future with Chase Brooks now ending his second year in Cross Plains. And Brady, you mentioned just what to look forward to um, in ne over next year when it comes. Obviously, you're losing Dallas Kaifer, you're losing Elijah Groves, um, you're losing Matthew Swearingen in that secondary, but the two guys that I think this team is really going to miss the most is the guys up front, and that's John Randolph and Malachi Anderson. Those two really paved the way and were the unsung heroes for this team. They brought their lunch pail to work every single day and were gritty for that East Robertson offensive line. And John, to give him credit, he played defensive line as well and rotated in on there. So he played both ways up front in the trenches, snapped after snap for this team, and was really a leader, a captain, and just someone that was instrumental in this rebuild for East Robertson. John, I was fortunate enough to talk to him several times. A great young man, he comes from a great family. So he um, he's well-deserving of a college football opportunity. Really hope that comes for him. But it's those guys up front that paved the way that will be missed. Obviously, you're bringing back Casey Young, who really evolved this year. He got better after that Smith County loss. Obviously, he did not play to the standard that he wanted to. Played really well down the stretch and just put this offense in places and – the opportunities to be successful. So looking for his growth and maturation as he becomes a sophomore next year. Obviously, you're bringing back Isaiah Groves at the running back position. He will be a senior. Obviously, he's going to be probably a Mr. Football finalist winner. So that's a luxury that very few teams in the state will have. But the emergence of Kate Brooks on the outside was something that was really exciting to see. Obviously, he had a great first half in the Blue Cross Bowl. Um, hauling in four catches from Casey Young. So the emergence of those guys on the offense, that offense on the perimeter is going to get really better. Obviously, you're losing Elijah, but there are several guys that will step up. And just the question marks on defensively, obviously you're missing some guys in, in the linebacking unit in the secondary. But Zach Groves up front has been a monster all year long, Brady. He's going to continue to get better. It, just two A teams have a hard time blocking him. Over six foot tall, 200 pounds, just finds a way to make plays, has several offers from Division I schools, so he will only get better. And that grows family, man. 
they're just something special, and they just continue to evolve and get better. Obviously, Xavion in the back end, Xavion Groves, he's a young guy. He's a corner. He's going to really emerge and grow into his frame long and lengthy and get better. So, Brady, I know that was a long assessment of this team, but I wouldn't be surprised if they made it back to Chattanooga next year and tried to complete a revenge tour much like Riverside and capture a state title. So we will take our final commercial break here. Um, coming up, we will wrap up the season. I'll give my thank yous to Brady and all the coaches right after this. Whether you've set personal goals or are just making your health and well-being a priority, Select Physical Therapy is here for you. Select Physical Therapy is your trusted physical therapy partner for recovering from aches and pains, gaining strength, and preventing injury. There's no better time to make Select Physical Therapy's movement experts part of your healthcare team. To learn more about the benefits of physical therapy and get on the road to recovery and wellness, schedule an appointment today at selectphysicaltherapy.com. Experience the power of physical therapy today. If you're in the market for new equipment, come to Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment in Springfield. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor projects and needs. We have a large selection of Echo Power Equipment and a full line of bad boy mowers and tractors. We also have a broad inventory of outdoor storage buildings and provide maintenance and small engine repair on most equipment. We also carry a large line of mower engines and parts for great financing options. Stop by Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment today. If you're in need of new flooring, look no further than Springfield Carpet One, Floor and Home. We have a showroom filled with a wide range of flooring options, including hardwood, luxury vinyl, carpet, laminate and tile, our expert team is here to provide advice and guidance to help you find the right flooring for your needs. With special financing available, you can buy now and pay over time. Stop by our showroom today or visit our website at carpet1springfield.com. At Old Hickory Credit Union, we're member-owned, not-for-profit, and eager to serve our Robertson County community. Since 1934, we have strived to provide our members with a safe, reliable place to take care of all their financial needs. From checking accounts to loans to mortgages, we're here to help. Credit unions have to constantly adapt to meet the needs of an ever-changing market. However, one constant will always remain, and that is the service we provide to our members. Stop by our Greenbrier branch today. Thomas Drugs, serving our community since the early 1900s. We're a full-service drugstore and soda fountain located in a building on Main Street that is on the National Register of Historic Places. We have a staff of pharmacists with over 70 years of experience and we are committed to offering the best care and service to our community. We're now offering healthcare testing and treatment with positive results, a one-stop shop. Stop by our pharmacy today or visit our website at thomasdrugs.net. Welcome back to the Robertson County Football Wrap-Up Show. My name is Brady McTamney, sports editor, Main Street Clarksville. Joined by David Wilson, who has been the sports reporter at the Robertson County Connection all season. Past several weeks, he's been traveling all across the state, going and covering East Robertson, uh, East Robertson's games. He's been all around the county this season for football. And, uh, of course, you guys are lucky to have a guy like that who's willing to go to Chattanooga and back and then back to Chattanooga and back again multiple times over the last couple of weeks for you guys covering the Indians. So, first off, we got to give our kudos to David. But, David... Why don't you wrap us up here? Yeah, I just want to say thank you to all the folks in the Robertson County area who have just been so gracious to me and welcoming in for my first season in Robertson County. It was a great football season. Obviously, had a turnaround with the White House Heritage, making the playoffs after a one-win season last year and hosting a home playoff game with a first-year head coach up there in White House and Scott Murray. Obviously, it's a special run for East Robertson to punch their ticket to their first ever Blue Cross Bowl. And just excited to see the growth and maturation of Springfield. Obviously, they're a really young team, but we're talking about a team that um, for two consecutive years made the quarterfinal round and won 10 games. So I know Dustin Wilson is very hungry. He's one of the best coaches in the mid-state, probably one of the best coaches in the state overall. That just uh, Dustin just finds a way to bring the best out of his football teams and get it better. So just a great year all the way around. I'm just so thankful for you guys, thankful for you, Brady, for all that you've done to help me. Uh, we're officially over with football season. I will begin working on our all-Robertson County football team, but it is time to transition to wrestling and to the hardwood. I don't know that's something I'm really excited to cover here in the Robertson County area. So for the last time, thanks again. We are signing off. We will see you guys on the fields, or on the courts, rather, real soon.
You've been watching the Robertson County High School Football Show with Robertson County Connection sports reporter David Wilson and Main Street Clarksville sports editor Brady McAtamney. Read this week's Robertson County Connection for all the latest news about Robertson County High School sports. The Robertson County High School Football Show has been brought to you by Springfield Carpet One, Thomas Drugs, Old Hickory Credit Union, Countryside Outdoor Power Equipment, Select Physical Therapy in Springfield, and the Tennessee Highway Safety Office. Join us each week at this time on Main Street Media TV to get the latest on Robertson County football.